Anyway, um, still staying in Qatar, uh, Dutch stars Frankie de Jong and Virgil van Dijk met with migrant workers uh, living in Qatar yesterday, signing autographs and talking with them about the upcoming World Cup uh, that they have helped to put on. Uh, in the build-up to the tournament, uh, host country Qatar have faced criticism, uh, including from teams and players that workers uh, building stadiums have been exploited uh, and not enough has been done to ensure safe working practices. Uh, Qatar's World Cup organizers, the Supreme Committee for Delivery and Legacy, have disputed the claim uh, that the tournament has cost thousands of people their lives. Uh, the government has said its labor system is a work in progress, but denied a 2021 amnesty report that thousands of migrant workers were still being exploited. Uh, the Dutch uh, kick off their Group A campaign against Senegal uh, on Monday, uh, with Louis van Gaal insisting that they have a chance to be crowned world champions. Uh, Qatar, uh, of course, apart from injuries, uh, another major talking point leading up to the World Cup, uh, even though a lot of people have said, well, uh, it's a Western agenda, uh, well, there's a you know conscious political uh, attack on, on the state of Qatar. Uh, it's been divided opinions, uh, but, I mean, it's been one of the biggest topics uh, leading up to the World Cup. In what I have termed a peculiar World Cup, uh, because we're going to be seeing, a, a, I mean, unprecedented, uh, high temperatures uh, in this World Cup. Uh, during the course of uh, this World Cup segment on Plus Sports, I'm sure we'll be having uh, experts uh, on who are going to uh, touch on uh, the impact of heat on player performance uh, and if it will affect the quality of the football uh, that, we to, that we are expecting to see in Qatar uh, for the next uh, four weeks uh, or thereabouts. Uh, there's also uh, the issue of, like I just mentioned, migrant workers, uh, labor laws generally, human rights, um, violations allegedly um, that have been meted out against uh, the country uh, but of course uh, the country continues to deny such uh, and claims that uh, they've stepped up on uh, their labor laws uh, and their human rights I mean their their stance towards human rights as regards preparing for this walk up. A number of teams uh, Denmark for instance have submitted a proposal to FIFA to allow a, a sort of like a protest writing on their training jerseys uh, FIFA have refused that proposal, uh, but uh, don't be surprised if during the World Cup you see, you know, players celebrating and then, you know, their gestures, you know, to suggest, like what the Dutch team have done yesterday, uh, to suggest that um, they are acknowledging uh, what has been alleged of the country uh, that will be hosting the World Cup.